Hey guys, welcome back to Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you all the tips and tricks to owning and operating your very own successful Rust server. Tonight, we're going to be talking about backpacks, how to use them, why they're beneficial, etc., etc. Stay tuned, check it out. So I'll be grabbing the backpack plugin from the UMod website. If you've never seen how to install a plugin before, be sure to click on the card in the top right hand corner right now, it shows you how to install plugins. So I'm going to install this real quick, and then we'll break down the details. Okay, so now that we have the plugin installed, there's a couple of things that we need to look at before we can even go into the game. So there's a couple of permissions that we need to assign to the different groups that we need to be able to use this plugin. The first one, of course, is called backpacks.admin, which gives your admins the ability to view somebody else's backpack, not their own, somebody else's. So if they're looking for somebody that was carrying something that they shouldn't be or whatever, that would give your admins the ability to do that. And I'll show you how to do that once we go into the game. Every single player in the game that you want to be able to use their backpack has to have the permissions called backpacks.use. This isn't determining what size of backpack they can have, it's giving them the ability to use the plugin, period. We will determine the size later. The third permission that we have to discuss is backpacks.use.1 through 7. Backpack size 1 is 6 extra slots, backpack size 2 is 12 extra slots, 18, 24, you see where I'm going with this. As you're seeing on the screen right now, there is also a blacklist that we can configure, which basically makes it so that there's certain items, whatever items you put on this blacklist, are not able to go into anybody's backpack. So let's just hop in game real quick and see what this looks like. So if we use any of the commands that are associated with the plugin, so for example, we'll do slash backpack, it says you do not have the permission to use this command. So let's open up our admin control panel. And let's look at some of these permissions. So just for testing purposes and for the purpose of this video, we're going to apply these permissions to the group called default, but you can apply it to whatever group you deem necessary for your server. So like I said before, so for the group default, we have to apply backpacks.use no matter what. We have to have that permission applied to the group. Then we need to determine what size of backpack we're going to allow them to use. So for example, if we just do backpack use dot one, and if I open my backpack, you can see that I have six available slots of extra storage. So this is my regular inventory right here, and this is my backpack. So if we want to give them more space, we can just change which permission they have access to. So this is backpacks one, let's use backpacks two, and it'll show 12 available slots. So there you go. Now I have 12 available slots that I can put stuff into and so on and so forth. So if we wanted to give this group, in this case default, the ability to use the maximum size backpack that we can get, we would use backpacks.use.7. And now they have 42 extra slots of inventory space that they can fill up. So the default command to open your backpack is slash backpack. Looks just like that. And that will open it up. Now we can also apply a key bind that makes it so that people can just press a button on their keyboard and it will open up their backpack. So let's go into our F1 console and we can just do bind B and we want to do backpack dot open just like that. So this will make it so that the command opening backpacks is bound to their B key, which by default isn't used by anything in the game, I don't think. So that's just something extra that you can tell your players on your server and it'll make it way more convenient for them to access their backpack. Now, the other thing that I said that we would cover is the admin command for backpacks. So let's just apply that permission to the group admin for now. Uh, I can't really show you what it does, uh, but as long as your admin group has this permission applied, they would be able to do view backpack and then insert a player's name here. That will open up that player's backpack so that as an admin, you can see what's going on inside their backpack. To be honest with you, I it's pretty rare that you're ever going to use this. I can't actually think of a reason why you would want to see what's inside somebody's backpack, uh, but the ability is there and you can use it if you need to. This is the default configuration file for backpacks. It's important to recognize a couple of things in here. Uh, drop on death, true or false. You need to determine if that backpack is going to fall on the ground so that somebody that whoever killed that player can now loot that backpack. You need to determine that it comes default and true. You can make it false if you want. Erase backpack on death. That's pretty 
self-explanatory. Do you want to just delete everything that was in the backpack or not? Uh, that comes default false. If you screw that up and somebody dies with a bunch of stuff in their backpack, uh, they're going to lose it. Use the blacklist, true or false. Clear backpacks on map wipe, true or false. Now, what you can do here is you can make it so that you don't actually manually have to go in and delete your your backpacks data file. Uh, if you change this to false, it'll automatically delete everyone's backpacks as soon as it recognizes that there's a fresh wipe, which might save you some time when you're wiping your servers. Only save backpacks on server save. Uh, this comes default in the false position. I would probably suggest that you turn, turn this on to the true position. That way your backpacks are always gonna be saved every time the server saves. Most people set their server to save every 15, 10 to 15 minutes. It'd be nice to you know, save the backpack information in there as well at the same time. And then you can see here, we've got our blacklist from default. It comes with the auto turret and the M249 in there. It's totally up to you. You need to determine what works for your server. I take those out. I make it so that anybody can put whatever they want in their backpack, but you need to decide how that's gonna work for your server. Actually, what I was going in there to show you is there used to be a feature in there, and I don't know why I'm telling you this because it's clearly gone, but there used to be a feature in there called show on back when there's items in somebody's backpack. And I was gonna suggest that you turn that to false because it makes it so that it, it, it'll it glide in front of your screen when you're running if you have your backpack on. So anyways, totally pointless because that ability is gone. So we no longer have to worry about that, which is great. That's evidence of the developer of the plugin listening to the community saying, this is a really stupid feature. We don't want it. You should get rid of it. All right, that's it for this video. I hope it was helpful. If it was, throw me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notification bells. If you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, make sure you leave them down in the comment section down below. I'm always sitting on my phone just waiting to answer messages uh, from my YouTube channel. All right, you guys have a great day. I'll see you guys on the next video.